Hey friends, we're back at it again. This is Andrew with LFG. We're doing our soul level one run, and obviously we died. <laughs> um, but hey, I think that's a. Uh, I think that we'll get through this just fine. Let's just jump straight into it. You might notice actually I've got a little bit of a different camera set up before, as I talked about in the previous video, I received a new camera. Um, I altered the levels of the brightness on this one just a little bit. I wanted to um, have it be a little bit more, I don't know, a little darker, but hopefully it's not too dark. If it is, you can always let me know in the comments, but um, you should still hope you be able to see me just fine. No! <laughs> right off the bat, I already lose everything that I had been saving up. <sighs> Welcome to Dark Souls. I just got distracted with that stupid, when it didn't hit, I got frustrated and throws it off. The next thing you know, you start realizing your overall life levels, what you can resist, what you can handle. It just... Uh, I was going to use... Oh, do I have anything, really? I guess. I was going to go ahead and purchase a whole bunch of shards using those souls that I had saved up so that way I could uh, not have to farm later. But whatever. It's the nature of the game. It's why it's not easy. But this time, you pricks, we're going to make sure that you get stabbed properly. Or apparently not. Another great sword like yesterday, but can't do anything about it. Every other hit will strike, so that's why you gotta be careful. that stun through. I honestly thought I'd be able to get him, but no, it's fine. It was kind of a test in my own head. I know it sounds like an excuse. It's, it's 
very excusey sounding, but I was like, well, if I can hit, yeah, I'll take the first hit, and then he'll succeed in getting the second hit for some strange reason. I just can't get out of it in time. There's no dodge or block or whatever, um, unless I'm just sucking. But um, I was like, okay, well, now that I get two, he gets his two, you know, it's going to be a little James Bond about it. You know, that's a Smith & Wesson. You've had your six. But no, um, so I was going to figure he'll get his two, and then I figured from that point on, I should be able to keep him sufficiently stun-locked with my own strikes that it shouldn't be a big deal. So, I figured I'd be able to get out of that one, but no. Oh well. lost. Just gonna get some of the loots that we can from around here. Hopefully avoid getting trounced from above. I'm not on a good vertical plane with that, so sometimes parrying isn't the best solution, but I don't know. I thought maybe I'd be able to get it. Alright. A little early again. Come on, Andrew. Don't worry about the parry. Just kill him.
fire right here. And I don't want to risk anything, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take advantage of it. And even though it seems probably like it's overkill, let's let's use these bad boys. I know we lost all that good humanity before, but yeah, you know, what can you do? Um, because I want to get this bonfire up to. Um, I guess I should have done two and then one, yeah, because I needed three. Okay. Now, um, bit of a mistake there, but whatever. I want to be able to go ahead and have 20 just in case we need it and we die and come back and die and come back and die and come back. But yeah, I know, again, I made a mistake. I miscalculated. I was thinking three to boost it up, one to heat, you know, reverse, and then, uh, but then I was thinking about how it's actually three, so technically if I want to do it, i got to use my twin humanities here, so... Yeah, and then I'll just have one extra left over. It would have been better to instead just use the twin and then individually use two instead of three. Okay, no big deal. There we go. There's a guy that's throwing red hot fire basically around, so we don't want to stick in that area for too long. But, and because I don't like skipping out on loot, even if I can't particularly use it. It's rapier. Divine blessing one day. And a rare ring of sacrifice. gets us over here to the merchant and which we'll talk to him here in a second and then also brings us to the point where we can officially get the key necessary to open up uh, something I was talking about before um, the ability to save a magician in the dungeon of this area um, and he'll give us uh, well he'll, he'll be useful in a few different ways really but um, it also unlocks another cage which I think gives us like 20,000 souls We don't have to get that right away or anything, it's just we couldn't do it before. So that's why I'm like, oh, okay, well, we'll get it now. I think some of it can be opened with a master key, but if memory serves to do it all, you have to have the cage key, so. Yeah, he'll do infinite of those, and then of course the large. I want to get those. 
he does sell these other things, but I can't, except for, I don't think I can use that either, can I? No. Um, there's nothing really you can wear. I mean, you could get the Katarina armor um, if you wanted to, just for the sake of it. Um, but uh, you wouldn't be able to do anything with fat roll in it, so. Let's see, should I? Got a lot of large Titanite left. I made that weapon earlier, my club. It's a plus nine. Okay. And then I gotta get the fire up to plus five. That's eight. So the eight of those. Let's see how much resources. Once again, we gotta be able to light roll, be in light armor to pull off that jump. So, just a heads up. just in time when it comes to reactions. It's funny I'm getting all these Titanite shards after I don't need them anymore. No, I can't. It's against the rules, man. Well, actually, I never looked up. I, gosh, I keep forgetting to look that up. I could summon him if I'm in human form, but I don't know if it's against, like, the soul level one rules and it's kind of against the spirit of it so it's like one more technically over there too but he'd be a lot harder to kill right now um he you really you can reach him if you try but really it's it's kind of difficult you want to you still want to do it i don't know i mean it's maybe later maybe later all right so now let's plan for this so we want the probably the red tear stone ring in case we get dealt damage um Technically, we could block against him, but blocking isn't going to be much fun. Yeah. No matter how we look at it, he's going to be rough. And I don't really have anything in the way of buffs, do I? Can't use a weapon buff unless I want to use, like, gold pine resin on my uh, my level 9 weapon. So it's, it's, yeah. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll be able to take him down just by doing the foot method. We'll see. Either way, we don't give up. Darn. 
forgot how he moves with us. That's fine. Try the fire club version instead. See if that does any more damage. And then, of course, um, should we be able to in a moment, we'll also try uh, uh, the reinforced club with the weapon buff on. Once you kill one of those big throwers, they're gone forever, by the way. pose we don't want to attack during that Just in case he strikes me with it doesn't kill me and then it triggers RTSR, I'm gonna Yeah, I was just gonna take the risk instead of drinking up. No. Actually I wanna try this one this time. cheese one, but that's okay. Oh, no. Oh, come on, guys. Really? He was a hit. He was a hit. We...
right. Good job to me. <laughs> All right, off to Ann Orlando. I know I could just run past him, but I'm just curious if I could even... Well, how brutal he'd be. Oh, apparently quite brutal. He went right through my shield. Never mind, we're good. So yeah, in case you're not as familiar with this, basically what we're doing now is we're going to have to kill some gargoyles and such on the way towards, um, um, well, I don't know, I guess it's probably, I don't know if I want to ruin it if you haven't described it, but then again, you might have already, you've already done it if you're watching this, so I don't know. It's difficult to say what you've already seen, I don't want to bore you. I'm just showing if you, uh, this, because normally, in case you are fam not familiar with this, uh, the way Dark Souls works is traditionally you would have many more levels by now. Way better armor, your weapons would be more, you know, there would be a lot of s extra strength that I would have. Uh, in health, in endurance, everything. And, uh, but I'm choosing intentionally as part of the run to do it all as a beginning level character. The lowest level essentially that you can be. So... That kind of affects it where it's still essentially the same journey in terms of what you're doing it's just different in terms of how hard it is so so if you haven't done this before you're watching me do it for the first time and you're you know you're getting a feeling for it but if you have already done it you probably don't want me to tell you you know Or you just want to see it. I always try to focus during this part because um, not only is it super annoying to get knocked off, but I feel like it just seems to be my destiny that it happens a lot. You son of a... See what I mean? 
Gargoyle's gone for good. We don't have to worry about him. We just gotta work our way back over to that spot. Painted guardians are very dexterous, so sometimes they'll just do weird things you don't expect. It's not the traditional you smack me, I block, I hit you, you block kind of deal. Sometimes it's a bit more, so. Call there, buddy. All right, can I do this without? Damn it! I was hoping to knock him off the first time, and then you know, yeah, but it happens. Check and make sure nothing super important is going on while this loads. Okay. I'm going to do a quick pause. You should hopefully not really see too much here of what's going on. And, and I'm back. Everything you got for this wings and pizza. Motion blur. In case you're wondering, I'm not showing off by doing this here right now. This is actually the the main way to get through uh, to the next area. This is, you know, it's just known to be difficult. So. Try to miss loot. Damn it. You actually noticed I didn't press anything. I got locked into that. So, yeah. When it comes to Dark Souls, I still struggle with the whole, uh, um, 
in front of the camera stuff. So. But as we can see, I mean, I can get it done. Did the golem, I can do this other stuff. And I actually really don't face too much trouble when it comes to the archers here in a minute. I mean, sometimes I do, like in a no damage run or in like a, um, and by no damage, I mean like, you know, you knock them away, roll, that sort of thing. I've done a few of those before. Um, and not beaten it all the way, but got a ways through. <clears throat> but uh, I don't usually struggle with them too bad. I think Ornstein and Smog are going to definitely cause me trouble. Goodness, that was close. I was thrown off there for a second. Don't be a punk ass bitch. <laughs> no. Come on down, kid. All right. You might have noticed the chest across the way. We'll come back for that. I just really wanted to get out of there. Not risk anything. All right, so we're going to push this down. All the way down. Still around here, buddy? No? I know we need a ring for that, but still. Alright, do I have any humanity? Just the one. That's not enough to do anything with, so we can't really raise anything here. We'll need to be careful about our our flask usage, so. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and call it here for today. I think that's probably good enough. We've done a lot today. Um, we can always pick up again tomorrow. So, thanks again for joining me, everyone. Um, I'm looking forward to beating Andor Londo, finally getting fast travel, and then beefing our character up in ways that we actually can. But if you are enjoying me play, hey, great. I appreciate that. If you want to like and subscribe, I would enjoy that, or leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Thanks again for joining me. I hope you take care.